No matter where you live, you have specific laws that you're going to have to follow. When you park illegally or violate the law, you may end up with an impounded car. Once the vehicle is towed away, it gets taken to an impound lot. I'm Kanan from Dirt Legal and today I'll talk through the steps to get your car back from impound and the typical costs are going to be involved. Now, it might seem like the towing company stole your car or your rights have been somehow violated, but the process of impounding a car is protected by law. Now, impound lots are legal places of business and stealing your own car back from an impound lot is a criminal offense. Now, just remember, we are not attorneys here at Dirt Legal. If you need legal advice, please consult a regular attorney in your area. Now, there are plenty of reasons you might end up with an impounded car. Maybe you parked illegally or in a spot that actually wasn't yours. Perhaps it was claimed as stolen, involved in a crime, or abandoned on property that wasn't yours. In any of these situations, the property owner has the right to have your vehicle towed at your expense. Now, there's no set price on what it will cost to get your car out of the impound lot. It's going to depend heavily on the reason it was impounded in the first place. The size, type, and condition of your vehicle will also play a part in that. Now, some of the fees related to an impounded vehicle include towing and transport fees, which can be $300 plus, Impound lot release fee, which can be $75 to $300 plus. Storage fees, which can easily be $100 plus dollars per day. Plus, if you have any citations or tickets you've incurred, which led to the car being impounded in the first place, those are also going to stack up. Now, will your insurance cover these fees? No, probably not. If your car was involved in an accident or stolen, your insurance company might cover some of the bill. It won't, however, cover towing costs for law violations or parking infractions. It's worth asking, but the answer will likely be no. Now, if your car does get impounded, don't expect to get it back quickly. Most impound lots have turnaround times of 12 to 24 hours for processing of their inventory. They might also be closed on weekends and holidays. So their business office might even be in a different location than your car. Now, each state has its own laws regarding how long your car can stay impounded. Once that time frame is up, it's considered abandoned and it's going to be sent for auction. So once it's submitted for auction, you can still retrieve it, but expect to pay even more unless you attend the auction and actually buy it back yourself. Another question that often comes up is if you need to have insurance to retrieve your car from the impound. Well, the answer is pretty much no. Not to get it out of impound, but absolutely yes if you want to drive it home. Now you must show proof of insurance if you plan to drive your vehicle away from the impound lot Insurance is required for any car to be registered and driven on public roads in the country. If you don't have insurance when a car is impounded, you'll need to start coverage before you drive it home or arrange for it to be transported. All right, so how do you actually get your car out of the impound yard? Well, first, you need to find where your car is. If your vehicle has been impounded while it was parked, you probably have no idea where it went. Start by calling a local parking authority. They'll have a record of it by license plate number or your VIN number. Now you might not find it right away as their records usually take a few hours to update at times and if you don't show up in the system immediately, contact them a short time later. You can also call the non-emergency police number and they'll know if your car has been towed due to a parking violation. Now you can also ask people in the area if they saw anything. If you're parked on private property, the business might have had you towed and would likely know where the car is or at least they'll know which company took it off. There may be a sign in the area identifying which towing company is contracted and have a contact number for you to call. Now, once you find your car, it's time to collect everything you need to get it released. Now, find out why it was impounded, what the impound yard requires to release your car, such as mandatory waiting period, and how much it's going to cost before you do anything else. Now, sometimes you need to wait for the release. Ask them when the vehicle is going to be processed and what the impound lot's hours are. Now get the clear facts about where you should go to pick up the car also. You might have to visit their offices before you're given access to your vehicle because sometimes this is actually going to be at a different location than the lot. Now most times you'll need a driver's license plus valid insurance card and if you're picking up the vehicle for somewhere else you'll need their driver's license number and a notarized letter authorizing you can pick up the vehicle. Now you're going to also want to make sure you know what form of payment they take cash, check, credit card, etc. If you need to have cash credit card or check with you. Now it's going to be essential you figure this out way in advance. Now when you go to pick up your vehicle, you need to schedule out plenty of time. It's likely you'll have to wait as many impound lots are usually pretty busy. Not only that, but many of those people in similar situations are frustrated and the lines rarely move quickly. 
Now, one thing to note is you always wanna make sure your car keys are actually with you when you go get the car. And I know it might sound obvious, but you wouldn't believe how many people forget to grab them on their way out the door. After all that waiting, it would be a shame if you actually couldn't drive away in your real car. Now, once you get to the office, you'll have to complete some paperwork with the agent. Remember, these agents deal with angry, frustrated people all day long, and they usually aren't the ones that actually impounded your car. Next, you're gonna actually have to pay the fees. Now, you should already know the price if you followed step two of our list. Now, once that's complete, the impound attendant will take you to your car, and you should be able to drive away. Now your next order of business, once you have your car back, it should be to address why it was actually impounded. It's something that could get the car impounded again, or is it a one-time thing? Chances are, whatever the reason was that your car was impounded in the first place, you likely won't do it again. Watch where you park, obey the traffic laws, and avoid committing crimes in your cars so you don't ever have to wonder what to do when your car is impounded again. Now, if you have any questions on the history of your car or potentially a future buy, Dirt Legal does offer VIN checks and vehicle history reports. We'll help you to gather the facts before buying any vehicle. And we can help obtain a new title and registration for any new purchase. And if you need more information on any of our services, click the link in the description below or give us a call at our 1-800 number. So that's it for staying informed on how to get your impounded car back and what to expect to pay in fees. We'll see you next time.